Hey, how you doing? I thought I would um, just send a video to you um, because it's Friday and I don't think there's any time for us to meet. So I wanted you to be able to have a chance to work over the um, the lovely fall break coming up. I almost said spring break. Um, I have seen a lot of students from this particular class, so I think I have a, an idea of what's going on. But let me show you um, some of the ideas that I've got and you can write back to me and I'm happy to answer email um, as we go. So. From the library homepage, you can look for a lot of these things in the library catalog, uh, but some of them, uh, it might be easier to search since we know we're specifically looking for an intervention. Um, we might get a lot of more generic stuff out here, um, like a description of the disorder or um, the population and a whole bunch of other stuff that's like off in the weeds of what we're looking for. So let's go to, um, there's a database if you're off campus, you have to log in here, or you can log into CIS or Canvas or UMail, and I think you should authenticate. Um, and under the subjects is psychology, especially since we're working on an intervention, a lot of the interventions are um, published and, and studied here, so this is a great place to go. And your topic shouldn't be too bad. If you go to advanced search right here, whoa, suddenly, suddenly Zotero wants, to, wants in on the action. <laughs> Leave me alone, Zotero. I'm so punchy on a Friday afternoon. So on this one, you can see you can search for eating disorder. I put that in quotes because I don't want it to find eating here and, and disorder there. I want to find those two things stuck together. Um, I'm, I'm hesitant to say binge eating. So let's see if what we can find related to that. Um, because they might, um, like the DSMV and uh, all sorts of things like that, might not classify those two terms together. It might be like a subheading. But we could do the population. Adolescence. Oh, look here, we have all these different ors in here. So it'd be adolescents or teenagers or young adults. If you need that specific population, you can write that as well. And then in the last one, I wrote notes. Oh, we have intervention. Intervention. And here's some other synonyms. Intervention or treatment or therapy. Usually they call it a treat, uh, intervention. And if you wanted to add more, you could do it that way. And notice in between Here's these Boolean operators that you can work with. So what it means is it's going to look for eating disorder out of all of the psychology articles. And then when it returns all the ones that have eating disorder in the title or the subject or the abstract only, it's not a full text search, then it's going to look for the population. Then it's going to look for the words intervention, treatment, or therapy instead of like diagnoses, risk factor, yada, yada, yada. Let's see what we'll get. There's Zotero again. Zotero's like, I'm still here. <laughs> when you're in this database, it's from scholarship all over the world. That's cool. The first one is in French. Um, you can narrow down a number of ways. You can go by date. Do we want something from 1974? No, that's probably pretty old. You can type in a word or you can uh, move that slider up to like the most recent five years or so. Um, overeating or eating disorders or body image or obesity, overweightness, that sort of a thing is something of our current era. So stuff from the 70s is not going to be on topic, nor is the internet or social media. Instagram was just busted um, or, or is currently being busted for promoting issues and risks with um, adolescent girls and body image. Um, so uh, the, newer, the newer scholarship might be better. You can also narrow down to academic journals since it has to be scholarly. What I wanted to show you though was, so you can go by population. I found recently this isn't very reliable. Typing in adolescent is better, but you can go under subject. And look, here's all the different um, 
specifics. So I'm hoping to find binge eating in here. So these are all the subjects for all the articles that we found, those 4,000 articles, and in order of uh, popularity, like what it shows up the most. Bulimia, anorexia, eating behavior, symptoms, treatment, ingestion, binge eating. I'll shut my mouth. I guess they it was there as a keyword. Well, now we, <laughs> now we know. You already knew. Now I know. So you could click update on that, or you can go in and just add another one. Or you can do eating disorder and binge eating. The cool thing about this is this really descriptive way of doing all of these keywords is it's rep, um, repeatable. So you could send this to your instructor. You could even do like a screen capture. Drum roll. It says not been working. For, this database has not been working. Oh, it did. Yay. How cool is that? So <laughs> you only have 1,200 articles to go through. How do I sort through that? Um, you could narrow it down by date. You can go by subject. Um, you can go by date newest. What I would suggest is that you go through the titles of these and look for trends. Are they talking about particular um, things going on like social media? Or are they talking about single parents? Or are they talking about gender? Are they talking about how to um, successful interventions. There's all these different ways that you can go through it. And when you're telling your story through, if you're doing the 10 um, scholarly articles that other people are doing, you don't have to say everything in every article, but one might be about, well, what's going on? What is binge eating? What is binge eating with adolescents? What are some of the risk factors? What are some of the things that people are listing as causes? What are some mitigating factors that might help people who are being treated. What are novel treatments? And you know, you can go through and make kind of a narrative that takes people through the steps of understanding what it is, some of the complications, and what successful interventions have been, and so on and so forth. Does this make sense? Um, for all of these, if you see this PDF full text, you can see the full text. If you see this one that says view it, you have to click on that and it'll send you the catalog or it'll put you into the full text. If you can't find the full text in like two minutes or so, just send me the citation and I'll track down the information for you. But here's what you do. Hello, Zotero. <laughs> Zotero is a citation manager. Oh no. <laughs> Zotero! You'll have to trust me on your experience. It will send you to the library catalog where you can pick the correct journal. If it doesn't make sense, don't spend too long on it. I have to clear the cookies in my browser or something. Um, but that's all I got for you for now. Have a nice weekend. Keep me in the loop and let me know how it goes.